Hey guys. So I was looking online uh, to this guy's uh, video, Alexander Yurtz. I'm gonna put the, the link down below to his video. I thought it was really good. I liked it. Uh, gave me the incentive to kind of take a look at my property and see what I have. And maybe I have some something really nice at my disposal and I don't even know about it right so um, so I'm looking into it so this is what I'm thinking about doing here this guy here it's a nice big birch so what I think I'm going to do is I'm gonna try and tap the tree and see what I have coming out of there because I actually have a lot of really, really nice, big, huge trees like this. And where I am uh, in Manitoba, well, I think most Manitoba is like this, but our water table is really, really high. So I'm thinking and I'm hoping that <clears throat> that means a lot more production. I don't know. We'll find out, right? So I'm going to try and tap this tree. Uh, I know it's really early in the season to do this but I also want to be able to check every once in a while to see when is the flow starting so I'm going to put a hole for tapping and then uh, I'm going to put a tap in there and I'm going to see if anything comes out if nothing comes out within the next day or so I'm going to put the tap back on or the, the plug in and I'm gonna leave it until when it's supposed to happen, which for us, I believe for Birch, it is uh, mid to the end of April. So if it does, if I, if I don't get anything now, I'm gonna re-look at it and see if, uh, when it's supposed to be flowing and then see how much we get and if we get anything and if it's good and if, you know and all that kind of stuff so this is more of a test for seeing how this is all gonna work out so there you go uh, let's see what we can do okay right around here is where I'm gonna tap this tree and that should give me enough height it's away from the horses and everything else. Everybody is on the other side. So I don't have to worry about them knocking this off or scratching their butts on it and wrecking it. And then the tap comes out and then the tree is not good anymore or it's damaged or parasites have gone in or whatever, right? So when you do this, so I am told, uh, you have to make sure that it's really sealed up properly so that uh, you don't get any bacteria or parasites or anything else in the into the tree because you are going all the way into the tree so here's my pieces I'm outside and I'm going to cut those to the proper lengths so that uh, I have a, a good base to work with and to do my taps so i also have to do plugs for the trees so i will do that right now And I want to keep this because it's the same size, so it'll be a lot easier for me to do my see it being the same size, it'll be a lot easier to me for me to make a uh, a plug with this one than anything else because it's the same size. So now I'm going to go inside and uh, just whittle away. 
So as you can see, this is a project that can be done, you know, when you're sitting at home, sitting on your chair, you could be watching TV or whatever. And it's just, all you need is a bucket, you know, for your, your shavings and you just go at it and you just, you know, do the whittling that you need to do. Uh, especially when it's like in the sub zeros outside you don't want to go outside and do the work but you want it, your homestead to keep you know moving forward and your projects to be moving forward this is straight on so it goes up a little bit on an angle doesn't have to be much so that the sap goes down so this is what it looks like once it's in I don't think the seal is good enough so I think what I'm gonna do is gonna be an experiment Hopefully I don't kill this tree. Shouldn't. But, um, I think I'm going to plug it up. So, I wanted to try it. And it turned out to be a disaster. Uh, it didn't work for me at all. Um, I didn't do the hole properly and everything else. But I did, um, put the, the plug back in so the tree is going to be okay uh, in uh, April when it comes time for for me to really test it and see you know if it's going to work and everything else um, but I just wanted to try the method a little bit on the tree that if it died it wouldn't matter because uh, I'm thinking about maybe having to take it down anyways because it's interrupting with uh, wind flow for the uh, for the turbine so that's why I kind of picked this one and it was close to the house and stuff so I can kind of keep an eye on it I'm going to be looking into that a lot more in April this was kind of like a little bit of a test kind of a failed test unfortunately for me um, but I'll get the the right things uh, the right tools to do it properly and stuff like that and, and uh, proper taps and, and all that and then yeah hopefully this will work out for for us and it'll be a maybe a nice little source of income that we can do again using the property that we where that we live on uh, so let's hope all right see you guys later